Hey there, guys, gals, fans, and pals. Your buddy John Megacycle here. Another episode of Shapes 2 coming at you. Oh, yeah, right. This is what we were working on, wasn't it? <laughs> we were working on our interpretation of the Make Anything Machine. And uh, this, uh, if this is your first time checking this out, hello, my name's John Megacycle. I'm, uh, I like to play video games. I'm not particularly good at them. Sorry, a bit of a hiccup there. Um, just really brief, this is the beginning of our Make Anything Machine. Um, I wanted to tackle these problems one at a time. Realistically, the first problem is how do we get the shapes to where we gotta go, right? That's kind of the first problem. So here what I have is I've got unloading bays, theoretically. I didn't know how the other train colors and all that would work, but we've got that set up now. Uh, red, green, blue, and eventually white. I don't have enough research points yet. Uh, with that, we're also bringing in shapes. We're then cutting the shapes to get individual quadrant pieces. And that's how this works. Now, there's still a lot of questions that I don't know uh, the answer to. For example, if I plugged in a shape, this is just a random a random shape. Let's actually just grab... What's a, what's a fairly complex shape that isn't something we fabricated? Uh, I don't want crystals. We're not dealing with crystals yet. Yeah, here we go. This looks like a gigantic pain in the rump. Let's grab that guy. Hi, that guy. I'm going to paste that guy here into this signal. Now, what this does, what I have set up with the signal breakdown is exactly layer by layer by layer by layer. How far it ought to go as it cuts. And since we're on normal difficulty, we have four layers we have to deal with. On insane difficulty, you have to deal with five. So this, this takes a signal and then chops it down. This looks a little confused, actually. Let's just try something else. Um, I don't want the colors to be so similar that it's difficult. This only looks like... Well, this is four layers. Cool. Yeah, I don't even know how to, we're going to do the pin stuff either. Uh, but we'll do our very best by ourselves. And if there's anything we need reference for, we'll look it up, right? There's no shame. There's no shame in looking it up. So, this is the display for what this part looks like. It is a red star. It is a yellow circle. It is push pins. It is a white star. And so this cuts it down each individual in each order and then breaks down what each individual quadrant looks like. Now, I don't know how to make pin, right? You can't just make, you can't pin something that's not there. So that's going to be a little interesting. I'm probably going to need some sort of an interval to break that apart. But anyway, um, here's what we're going to do. We're going to start from the bottom, right? So what I have... Give me that. Uh, that's not what I want to do. Cut. There we go. Here's what we're probably going to do is we're probably going to take this. And we're probably going to have to... Probably going to do something real damn fancy with all this, aren't we? Uh, give me that. And then give me this. Chuck that there. And chuck that there. That was our proof of concept. Well, actually, I don't need the proof of concept anymore. We've already got go got it going on here, so we're going to get rid of that. We're going to increase this a little bit more. This is what I like to call a museum. When I used to play uh, Minecraft way, way back in the day, way back, when when I was like playing like new mod, new mod packs with people and everything and whatever, and we were all trying to learn how it all worked, one of the things I used to love to do is build a museum. I'll take that, thank you. And a museum is really just a demonstration of the tools and abilities that are given in a mod pack. So let's just take a really more current example. How about mechanism, right? Mechanism, I think, is fairly of the more recent ways to process ores and materials. And what I would do is I would have, like, the basis idea. So I get all the basic items out and I'd have, like, what is it? To, so there's, you have the ore, right? You have iron ore. And then how does it go? You crush it, you wash it. You crush it, you wash it. You pulverize it or something. Like, it goes through five or six steps. Then you finally smelt it and bam, you have your business. The way in which I handle that is, like in, like I said, in the museum, what I would do is I would have... I would have it all strung out. So, like, if someone... Like, here, here's this, here's this, here's this. It's a very simple process. If you want to do this at home, you do this at home. It's very simple to do. Kind of a thing. So, that's what I like to do. So, we're doing the same thing kind of here. This is a museum that I'm putting together-ish. And this is just to demonstrate really that if you don't know exactly what we're talking about, maybe this visual representation will help you and it, it certainly does help me, for sure. For sure, for sure, for sure. For sure, 
for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. Yeah, it's hi ho, hi ho, right? Uh, the dwarves in the working in the mine. Um, I'm not gonna cry too much on spacing. I just want to get this kind of formulaic. That's probably enough. We'll trim that. So what I want to do is I want to figure out signaling. I don't know how the signaling is going to work. This isn't quite as level as I'd like. Let's just get this all all cleaned up, right? I don't mind if we have a couple of episodes of just administrative, like, oh, this is how we'd probably do this, and this is how blah, blah, blah. I don't mind that at all, because I'm I'm learning with you. I don't know how this is all going to work. Uh, we're going to find out together, though. So for the very first layer, it's red, and we know this is the bottom layer. We cannot go any further. There is no going further. This is, this is the bottom of the barrel. Uh, again, because of difficulty level, I know that. But we're just going to also move this over just a little bit right there. Thank you. Th nope. No. No. Thank you. Apparently saying no like that made my ear itch. Eh. Eh. Okay. <laughs> and made that sound too. Eh. <laughs> uh, someone kicking a duck across a pond. What noise is that? Eh. <laughs> That's more sheepish now. Okay, anyway. What we have here are four. We have a lot of information. We have what the whole piece should look like. And we have four individual pieces and what they should be painted. Each quadrant is being represented here in its own respect. So now, what I want to do is I want to see if we can figure out how to push this signal. We do this by wire transmitter. So I'm not too sure how to make this look good. But effectively, what this would do... It does... It's, what does that do? Oh, I guess since all the shapes are the same, it wouldn't screw anything up. Um, what I am going to do, though... Yeah, I keep forgetting... I keep forgetting height is a thing in this game. I don't know why. I do. I do. Oh, uh... Right, I keep now I remember why I keep forgetting height is a thing in this game, because it's sometimes hella temperamental. Elemental temperamental. Uh uh. Elemental temperamental. Uh uh. Yes, Zenny. What is it, my son? Okay, so I woke up at 4 a.m. this morning. It's not too it's not too untypical. Atypical? It's not too atypical that it wake up really early in the morning. Early in the morning, rising to the street. Um, I get up, I work out, I drink coffee. Like it's fine. It's not a big deal. Um, the thing is, I've already fed my cats. Like, we're already done here. Uh, there's nothing else to do. I don't know why he's all bibbly about it, but he is. Actually, I want red to be the whole thing. Green, blue, cyan, magenta, magenta. I don't want to one of you. So he thinks, I think he's trying to be like, oh, if I tell the fat man I'm hungry, I'll just, whatever. And we've already done the food. We've done the food. We're done with the food. We're not doing the food anymore. Food is done for the day. Get out of here. Okay, so this is going to theoretically, albeit very sloppily. Actually, I want to change this loadout already. I already hate it. No, actually, the other way better now. Now I got a bunch of wire in my way. Uh, man. Well, the good news is... Just like that. It's back to normal. Um, so I can transmit all the signal I want, right? So this... We're gonna need, like, a side computer to get the part, splice it, and whatever. And then what this is gonna have to do... We're gonna have to grab some signal receivers. Global wire receiver. So, realistically... What I'd like to do with each of these things is I'd like to green, blue, cyan, mayenta. I don't know why I like saying it that way, I just do. Okay.
Let's see here. I need to rotate it to read it, and I know what position it truly is because of this. Now, the problem is, <coughs> what we have is a shape that is non-discriminatory based on rotation. I need a discriminatory rotation shape. Like, I need to know what side I'm talking to. Uh, nope. I, I'm just going to make one. I'm going to make one again. I know I said I didn't want to keep making shapes. Nope, I don't like that either. Don't we have a good milestone shape for this? Operator. No, I don't... Oh my god, go guys, take a nap! <laughs> go guys, take a nap! Okay, give me that. Okay, the reason why this is important is because as a human I can actually read this and I can tell... Hey, yoink, thanks. Actually, give me... Uh, sub, 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 sub. I want to go watch uh, Sublo and Tangy Mustard. Oh my god. Out of all the indie shows I've seen, that is definitely one of my friggin' favorites. It's one of my damn favorites. Okay. So what I have is on one individual layer, I have all the pieces, correct? So let's grab... Those top layers going to be... Oh, we're doing the bottom layer for... Right. Doing the... We're building it from the... Oh, maybe I should build it from the top. Oh, crap. Uh, I should build it from the top down. Because that's how we'll take care of push pins, right? So this actually should be on this, and we should build top down. Because Okay, so here's here's the situation, right? Star. some I, That thing, whatever. Push pin. Well, if I'm building up, I can't add push pins on top of stuff. I could put I could put push pins behind stuff. Let's grab that other triggity train. That's all the triggity trains. Let's get the triggity trains done. Then this is gonna be for proof of concept again here. Again, will this be permanent? Doubtful. But it's a neat little It's a oh, it's a neat little uh, museum, right? That's the verbiage I like to use for it. Oh my god. Thank you. Oh! That is the end of the line. That's all there is to it. So we have all four trains now. That one is just getting ejected. Yep. You don't have to signal or anything. It's actually really weird. It's cool, but it's weird. Um, so as long as we have all the trains defined, we don't have to set up ancillary breakout routes but that's it cool okay back to this uh what i want to do instead is i want to do exactly what i said i want to build it top down so i'm actually gonna nope i'm actually gonna swipe all that shiz uh of course it doesn't match up why would it why would it just match up Give me... no. <laughs> Give me that, thank you. Just scooch... Scooch you down by one. Still doesn't get me really what I want. Okay, I'll just rewire it then, shall I? It's fine, I'll rewire it. So I don't need that guy either, because I'm deciding to build top-down. The only thing we have to really pay attention to is to whether or not directionality is important is how we put it in the stacker and how we lay it out and the pins. The pins make an interesting logistical difficulty because they are a must in an order of operation. When it comes to orders of operation, if you know what I'm talking about, there's a certain way to read math, right? Think of math like its own language. Uh, there's a, a couple of acronyms for it, but when you understand the order of operations, uh, that's how you know how to work out a math problem, right? I think the most common one I've heard when I was growing up was PEMDAS. And, and knowing that, you know exactly how to read the maths. Uh, this is going to be very similar, but instead of reading the maths, we're going to... We're going to do this. We're going to create our own little language here with the signals. 
So one, two, three, four, each color. Uh, and then I want final shape, right? So we're going to have this set up here. And just to, oh, uh, I want the red one as well. I don't know if I need the red one, but there it is. Okay, so the idea behind this is, is, uh, this is going to get very complicated, but, uh, let's, let's go and grab. Okay, we're going to change this. You are going to go on the bottom. You are going to go on the top. That's going to be a little confusing, but that gives me directionality right out the gate, right? So, first shape, second shape, third shape, fourth shape. I know exactly how this should go. One of these pieces is not the right piece I want. But it is the right piece I need. So here's here's where this gets actually even more complicated. Is every single shape might have its own color. So my first idea was, oh, this is very simple. I'll just do this. Uh, the wrong thing. Flow control. Belt filter. I'll do something like this. Nope. And just to show exactly what we're talking about here. There you are. So what this is going to do is this is going to come in, and if this is not the right shape, nothing happens. If this is the right shape, which quadrant it goes. And then it was going to do the same thing for everything else. Uh, just give me that whole thing. Thank you. It's going to look like this. It's going to look like that. Right? This is probably what I had in mind. So this at least gets the pieces together. And then I was going to sandwich them together here. But again, I realize that's impossible considering paint. So, hmm. Mm hmm. 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 How do we how do we test for color? I know how to test for shape. Uh belt filter pipe gate. Fluid based on logical signals. Okay, but that doesn't test for color. So how do I test for color? Uh yes. Flow of shape. So that is looking specifically for this shape. Oh, I guess that makes sense. Um, so this is without its color right now. So this is perfect. Um, so how do we do this? Hmm. Man. So we get a quadrant determined, which we aren't now. We have that right now, right? Uh, I think what's going to ultimately happen is we're going to be throwing away a lot of volume. I think what I want to build, first of all, is a version one of this machine that's going to be incredibly ineffective, but will do the job. Uh, ineffective might not be the right word. Um, I'm going to need more coffee for sure for this. Let's just give this a quick pause. I'll be right back. All right. Fresh coffee. Ready to coffee. No, I don't know what's going there. Okay, I gave it a bit more thought. Oh crap, no I didn't. Now I was just thinking about coffee every time. Coffee, 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 coffee. Okay, so what I have here is an overly complex system that is unnecessary, I think, again. I think I overbuild on one thing and then I don't build enough. So what has to happen is we get the shape. Which I don't mind if this is how this gets cut. I don't mind if this is how this happens. So circle, square... Uh, concave and di uh, pokey, pokey stick, right? That's how this is going to work. So this is going to at least read all four items. So one, two. Um, realistically, the throughput is going to be bad, but that's okay. Oh, give me the whole the whole thing. We're just proof of concepting this whole thing. Uh. I'm not too sure what that extra little bit was there for, but that's okay. This is going to check all four quadrants.
Bum bum ba dum bum ba 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 bum. Ba da da. I'm waiting for that song. Man, I love that song so good. Love it so good. Okay. So this is just again theoretical. So this is all four pieces. What's going to hopefully happen, I wish I had some pieces so I could do this. I should probably test this over by the regular stuff, but that's okay. So what we're going to determine is we're going to determine all four pieces, and it's going to be yes, 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 thankfully. We'll have 30% of the, or 75% of that here. That'll be no. And this will be copied onto each every other part, and we'll get, you know, the square will be no, 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 yes. And then no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Okay, I got all the no's. <laughs> I wasn't sure if I got them all. Uh, four per, four per. So then what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to paint. And what I'm going to have to do is... This isn't going to be ultra fancy at all. Um, I still have no idea how to count, right? So I'll probably need a way for the machine to purge itself. Uh, I guess that actually changes another thought paradigm I had. Originally, I thought what I would have wanted to have done was to count out... I need 10,000 items. Great. We're going to make 10,000 items. Right? There's no need to make more. I can't make less. But realistically, what ought to happen is when we feed it into the tr to the system, it's just going to ignore it anyway. So overproduction is not, not really an issue. Making sure that we don't have any bottlenecks is a much larger thing to chew on. So what I need, I think I already have, is a paint thing. Not an extract paint And how many colors are there? Seven? Oh, it's over here, I think. Yep. Um, I keep checking. I think there are seven paints. Seven individual paint colors. Paint. Color mixing, maybe. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. There's seven. So this template changes slightly. Um, I don't need that much volume. I don't... Th well, hold on. If this is one color, which could be... So here's, here's another problem, right? Um, let's say that's the cutting. Here's the painting. Do I do one, two, three, four... Crap. Uh, hold on. Stop. Stop the phone. Give me you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Do we do each of the painty colors here? And that might be just for one quadrant. So I don't want seven times four times four. That seems like a massive waste. But again, once we get something going, I think we'll we'll be able to be like, oh man, we can make this a lot easier. Um, so let's see here. Four parts potentially go through. And don't forget, this is one layer. We're we're not we're not done with any other layers. We gotta feed this all the way back and make more layers of it. Um, so what I'm going to really need is probably some sort of an on-off switch to indicate what layer we're on. But like I said, I want to work on one layer at a time. Am I making any progress? I don't think I am, but that's okay. I, f I do feel a little bit better about things, though. I really do. Um, so there's that. So now this... This was just the offloading and the cutting. I don't want to complicate anything. One, two, three, four... Uh, realistically, okay. You know what? Just you stop freaking out. There's nothing I can research. Okay, there you go. Good. Please stop worrying about the research. It bothers me. <laughs> I don't. Know. Hey, research. How you doing? If this were Factorio and I wasn't spending my military science, I would be freaking out a little bit harder. But right now, meh. Meh, my guy. Meh. Okay, so now we'll have... Keep hitting Q, that's not correct. Uh, yep, that's broke. Oh, I see. It is a problem. Um, let's run... 
Let's run all the cabling topside. Like as high as we can do it. This doesn't make any sense. Boop. Little belt filter right there. Boop. Boop. Get this a little cleaned up. Uh, what do we do with this? Nothing, right? Now... Can it wait, or should it be voided? Looks a little better, doesn't it? Ba 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 bum. Ba 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 bum bums. Oh, this isn't gonna work. It's gonna detach that. Yeah. Uh. Yep, I figured. Okay. About this? Yeah, of course. Okay. Well, I tried to be fancy, Dan, and it didn't friggin' work. It's cool. Long-legged Larry for the mayor. Here, here. And I missed that too. And early morning gaming is like my favorite because it's when like the day is young and everything is new and it's like springtime or something. Yeah, the world is fresh again kind of a thing. Then I realize I'm kind of a dumbass no matter what type time of day it is. So it doesn't, the allure doesn't stay as long as it ought to kind of a thing. Um, but that's okay. Maybe I'm overthinking this part as well, and maybe don't need to do as much work anyway, but it's good that we do it. Good that we do it. No, nope. That's what I wanted, thanks. Okay, so now we have, ideally, is a system that will chip-chop all the shapes, all the same shapes, just to, for grouping's sake and make this easy. So it's going to, I hope, I hope happen, if I understand this at all. Oh, there's a strong chance I don't. Now, each of these parts need to stay on their own... their own carousel. Why? Because each could be their own color. So, let's see here. I want, I want to understand how we test for color. So that can go away, thanks. Um, literally anything will be fine. Thank you. Now what I want is a signal producer. Uh, I'm going to take you back right about there. And then I would like a control belt filter right there is fine okay what is this item now it should let it pass right no issues now what if I want this to be Let's see here I guess this makes sense because once I change this to anything else right Oh, it's just straight up null. What is a what is a circle? What's the code for just a circle? I should probably and go this way and find out. Go oh, and go right here and find out. Hey, okay. C U. Oh, circle and U is uncolored. I'm sure. Whereas red is probably colored, right? All right so it thought, it freaking thought it thought. So give me this. This is going to freak out, because it's not its not the right shape, right? Oop. 
Yep. Okay. The other thing that I need to test with is the pipe filter. Uh, so what I also need to pass is all four colors. No. All seven colors. And then learn how to paint with all that. Oh my goodness, that's... Okay, so what we need is, instead of as large as I was building it, uh, what we'll do is we'll build one Yuna color Jabo, right? You might be like, John, that's hardly language. What are you talking about? I'm like, that's a good point. That was hardly language. Well met. Uh, what we'll do is we'll bring in... Uh, one, two, three, four, five... Oh, we only ever can mine three colors, right? There have been yellow and purple shapes, but I've not seen those as paint colors, I don't think. Uh, to be honest, I'm not going to be terribly going to go terribly far to figure that out. Okay, so I can, I've already come up with two more platforms I want to tackle. First of all is the Grand Couturier Painter. Kill a kill reference, and I think I completely mispronounced that. This is going to bring all the colors here, and then we do the painting. But what I wouldn't mind is to have trains to bring the paint. <laughs> so bring the paint, bring the paint. It is, this is going to be a separate network from this entirely, but it's going to be similar. So we're going to set up a whole new dealy dealy. And this is how this is going to fly. This is going to fly. Sweet. Oh, this is going to fly. Uh, it is going to be seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. Long legged Larry Flamier. Here, here. Got that Aesop Rock song stuck in my head. It's a gorgeous song. Don't get me wrong. Something like this. And we're going to do. Uh, oh. uh, nope. Uh, oh, it's not shape unloading. Yeah, fluid, fluid unloader. Okay, so this is where we're going to... Oh, actually, this is where we're going to just take in the paint, right? So this guy can come over here. All this is the, all this is doing is receiving. All this that's all this is going to happen here. Uh, maybe storage as well. Do some hot storage. Okay. Uh, one, two, three, four. Make it a little more uniform. That's better. I like that a lot better. Okay, something like this. Man, autosave's getting weird on me. Okay, so there is... All the paint. This is going to be one color of paint. And we're going to do the same thing with all the others. One... A two -hoo. Three he a three. If it's not the Tootsie Roll commercial from I don't know the fifties or whatever, it's always Captain Knuckles from Flapjack. <laughs> One, two, three, three Flapjack, I forgot all about you. <laughs> kind of a thing. Uh, we're gonna do this instead, because that looks way more wholesome. Ugh, look at that. Family friendly. Linear and everything, look at that. So good. <gasps> we have these things that could also just blam blam! Okay, anyway, so we got all the colors. We'll do the mixing array. The, there'll be a master mixing array, I guess? Well, these will actually just pipe. This is already done. This is gonna be piped to everything. 
What I now need is the actual mixing to get accomplished, so we'll work on that now. Um, so here, here. Um... Nope, I just want the that, thanks. We're gonna give ourselves a lot of room. Do I think this is gonna take a lot? Maybe not, but... Uh, we'll be alright. So, ultimately, this is going to be a very similar thing we just had before, is I need four rails. Uh, we're going to do... Accept more awards. Thank you. We're going to do something like this. Uh, you'll see the method to the madness maybe in a moment. Method to the madness maybe, maybe in a moment. Only in a moment. Uh, what we'll do is... Uh, I want a different stop per color. We'll copy-paste more stuff. Actually, I don't know why I'm still giving myself not a lot of room. Yeah, let's give ourselves some space. So it's going to look like this, right? Each station type. So slamo, slamo. What ha what happened now? <laughs> oh, it's so easy. You'll just copy paste it. Ruins it immediately. What what happened, guys? Nits, nits guy. One, two, three, four. That goes away. But this is a straight through. So, how how is this going to work? Well, I'm not sure. Thanks for asking. One, two, three, four. Uh, actually, I only need... I only need three, actually. Because red is going to be the ultimate pick up and drop off. So, red... No. All, and then red, green, blue. Right? Let's try it. Uh, let's set up a neat little... Station. Something like this, a little bit off the beaten path. I like it. I like it. Hmm, when we're making the red and stuff... I guess there's no reason why I can't also just drop it off here. Okay, you'll see what I'm getting at in a second here. Once this all... What? Oh, I see. You have to do it at every junction. That's fine. And that should do it. Okay. So, ideally, like, green goes and gets... Oh, actually, white should be everything. Oh, that makes way more sense. Hold on. Hold on. That makes a stupid amount more sense. We're just gonna flip these boys around. Yeah, that makes, that makes way, way, way more sense. In color theory or whatever, isn't white the culmination of all colors and black is the absence? Six... Seven. In this case, though, that's not quite the case, because we're we're mixing more stuff to get white. That goes there. That goes there. Okay, white now. Goes here. And then red. Green. Blue. Wait, what happened? Uh, red, green, I did not tell it to go farther. Okay, white is going to pick up everything here and drop it off here. That just makes that a lot easier for me. Green and blue are going to pick up colors, and then we're going to have a different area entirely merging this stuff together. Now, make this a little less shite. Let's trim this up a little bit. 
What if I did a train launcher right there? Does that not work? Yeah, it does. Heck, heck yeah, it does. It'd just be good if I actually connected the thing. So, green. Yo! Good stuff. Can I push this any farther? No, that is the maximum OSHA approved legal limit. Or any of that. Okay, the shift to place anyway is just a recommendation. It's not really a hard and fast rule. Which is fine. Red, green, blue. I built this as an extra catch-all. Whenever I do um, heavily logistics-based games, like uh, Factory Town, and you say specifically, if the train is looking for this, go this way, you should always have, in my opinion, a catch-all that if you didn't have the rules defined, the train knows that there's somewhere else it can possibly go and you don't have deadlocks. In this case, we only got the few trains, kind of not that big of a deal, brr 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 brr, right? Okay, so that's cool, you all are having fun, good stuff. So that this is an idea, a templated idea of how the paint is going to get handled. Now, I would like to figure out how to do the paint, that would be nice. For the white train, it's going to be a lot of loading. So the reason why I removed the trains is so I could do something like that. And we're going to be generous, the space is not limitless, but... I. I'm, I'm not feeling limited. That makes sense. I want a few a fluid loader. Five, six, seven. So this is going to be real simple. We're going to have some paint merging things happening here. I don't have paint makers for the sake of paint makers yet. That looks good. Okay, so now, with a platform like this, red is gonna come on board, and we're gonna dump off, let's say... Oh, this is loading, hold on. Unloading. I need to do how much? I'd like three? Let's do three. And all this is really gonna do is this is gonna dump off and feed in. Actually, you know, it might be a little more sane. We did it like this, and then just bam, there's there's red already. And then I'm not too sure how to do the other ones. So green is three, blue is three. Again, I want to give myself as much space as possible here. Oh, that might actually look really good. Actually, yeah, 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 yeah. We're going to break a little bit of linearity. Linear. It's not going to look as linear, which is... Oh my god. <laughs> it's Oh, I see. It has the jump pads. It's not going to look as linear, but it might look really cool all the same. Yeah, okay. The place anyway is cute to a point. Um, actually, this goes up one. This... Yep, this goes away. One, two, three. One, two, three. Operate, annihilate. Good stuff, good stuff. Then... This can all actually be pulled over by one square. I still don't have a super great good grasp of how this is going to work. But I think if I like if I get a lot of this laid out, I'll feel a lot better when it really comes down to the level. So this goes away, this goes away, this all this goes away. This Oh, uh can't this extend all the way? Yes it can. Hot Jones, okay. Ooh dang, I'm very excited about this. I thought this was going to be 
really stupid complicated but after laying it out and getting it a little more figured out i'm feeling a lot better honestly I, this this is probably the most intimidating part of it was just getting the paint here and figuring it out so red green blue red blue green red red green blue okay Ergaber. in case you forgot your three colored color wheel Ergaber. <laughs> So remembering Ergaber is a lot easier for my brain for some reason because it makes it it makes me chuckle. So I, Ergaber, what does that mean? Red, green, blue. It's the three colored rainbow, I guess. <laughs> it's dumb and I love it. Okay. So now, let's talk about color merging. Or should I start bringing in color? We should start bringing in color. There's green, there's blue. Um, there's no limit to what we bring in, really, as long as we keep the colors the same. There's not really a super great way to filter inputs here. I don't think. Um, but yeah, I, I know I'm building on top of green. That's fine. So let's give this a try. We can, we can probably get a good push on before we wrap this up for the day. Not quite. One... Three. Good enough. And there is that to its fullest. So I'll need a blue train. And this is going to be real simple. It's going to be a little clustery, so bear with me. But this is going to work out pretty well, I think. Oh! Oh, I know. I know, I know, I know. Um, I already have it set up. Oh, cool. I already set up an off-ramp for this. Noise. Noise. Um... Uh, this won't work as well as I hoped. That's okay. Uh, this is gonna look like... This. This will ensure cargo gets dropped off. No matter where. Okay, train come in. Train forced this way. Force this way. Force out. Perfect. The only train that should actually be broaching this gap here is going to be white. Yep, I think that's correct. Okay. Where I place the locomotives... Oh, you know what? I just thought of something. Um, This kind of prohibits me from having multiple blue trains. Huh. How will a train know... Hmm, that's, that's curious. I don't know if that fact matters. Let's try it, though. But here's, here's the thought, right? Uh, you're not white. Actually, you are blue. Thank you. How do you do? Okay, so blue comes in, right? Blue then broaches off here. This is incorrect. There we go. Blue comes in, says we, and then goes to blue, drops off, and then scrams. That's the idea. Oh, you already have some on you. Oh wow, that was fast. Now we could we could clean this up a bit. We could do a jump and just clean it up that way. But again, we'll we'll make this a lot better later. So the thing is, you know where to go home. Um, hmm. I don't know if I'm going to have a volume problem, but I might have a volume problem. Eh, we're, we're good for now. I'm not going to overthink it. How about that? I like overthinking, but there's a certain point to overthinking that I kind of, I kind of fear that... And not getting any benefit out of it. Right? Like, there's a certain point that it's like, 
I could keep freaking out about a thing I can't control, or I could just give it a try anyway. We're definitely in the give it a try anyway fra uh, phase. Phrase? Phase. I'll take that, thank you. Nope. Almost. You almost had that. There we go. Ooh! Uh, sorry, blue. Thank goodness items are infinite, yeah? How's that? There's red. I don't think that's enough green for me. I'm a greedy boy, and I don't want to tap that green. Oh, it's just a little too close. That's not enough green. I want to tap one green source. One greener, and that's it. Perfect. That worked out very well. And again, uh, resources are infinite, so if we if we mess around a bunch, it's not going to be that big of a deal. One, two, three. Thank you. And thank you. And thank you. I'm always appreciative, right? I think stuff that's not real, I think stuff that's not there. And don't get me wrong, I'm not the I'm not the kind of guy that's like if my shoes don't point east, oh man, that's when the demons come. It's not that kind of a thing. It's just being thankful means it would mean the world to somebody, and it costs nothing. It costs zero. It costs zero things to be just a little polite. And there's so many people like I'm just just complete strangers. I'm generally I'm a generally polite person. I'll hold the door open. Costs nothing. It's, it, it takes seconds. You don't know. Some people might someone might be having a bad day, and there's been there's been folks that have just been like that was very polite. What a polite young man. And I'm like, oh, ma'am. Oh, thank you. I'm in my 40s. I'm no longer young, but I appreciate the sentiment. It's just, I don't know. I know what it's like to have a rough... Yes. <laughs> just pick, pick a thing. I get it. But being polite doesn't hurt. Doesn't hurt nobody know how. We're going to have some fun with this. There we go. This is going to go green style. Green style. That takes care of that. Style. Green style. What wait, 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 wait. Okay. Oh, okay. I went a little too far with it. Alright, alright, alright. My bad. That's fixed again. That's fixed again. Okay. Same diddly do here. Green go there. Green go there. Okay, now... Let's load up the belts. And there's that. Fluid flagon. Oh, that's that's the new flagon. It was a uh, was from uh, Amphibia. It's the family wagon, the flagon. But now it's the fluid wagon, the flagon. It's hard to say F W A G O N flagon. Okay. So, I'm gonna watch green, because I believe blue and red have already reached their destination. And I am seeing little tinges of green. Cool. That's a problem. <laughs> this is why we test before we put stuff into production. Uh, let's try red. No, red goes here. Green goes here. Ergaber, ready? 
Remember Urgaber. When in doubt, Urgaber. Okay, so green. So red, green, blue, that's how that should do. And this is white, which we have not set up yet. Okay, we're getting some fundamentals in here. So this whole thing is going to be taking all these colors. We're going to actually push red, green, and blue just the other side. We're not even going to touch them. Uh, but some of this other stuff we're going to have to use and take and merge. This is going to be quite an operation, but not a terrible one, I don't think. Okay, red, green, blue. Okay, perfect. That's fine. How are we doing on volume? We have a ton of red already. We have a ton of green already. Okay, based on that, I don't think I need multiple trains. I, or multiple uh, sources. I was like, well, what if I got like three blue sources, three green sources, and three red sources with the 12 belt load? Blah, blah, blah. It's just like, we just don't need it. I don't think we need it right now. Oh, I'll take another promo. Thank you. Looking great here. Um, we have all the upgrades here, except... The Big Chungus, the Foundation Level 4. Um, there, let's just knock that out. We're moving along pretty nicely, I think. Oh, uh, there's not many more upgrades left. And this is, this is coming along. Okay, this is a big chunk that I wanted to get specced out, right? Just get specified out and just see what we see about it. But this looks pretty good, I think. Uh, we have plenty of paint now. I highly doubt we'll be able to use all of it very quickly. But actually, when it comes to storage, this is its own storage right here. So I don't probably need a ton of tanks. I wouldn't mind a ton of tanks for der 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 der, some other thing. For maybe the color combinations, but you know, for now, this works. Oh, okay. Why don't we call this here? Get a nice end shot right there. So this is how we're going to do our paint. We'll do all the paint mixing in the middle. We'll tackle that next episode. And it uh, shouldn't be difficult. It's a little strange, yes, because we haven't done it before. But we'll get there, right? We'll get there. So thanks for joining me. My name is John Megacycle, and I hope to catch you next time. Hey there, guys, gals, fans, and pals. Thanks for checking out my video. I also want to take a moment to thank all my supporters and donators. And if you'd like to join up with me and Game With My Crew, all the information to get connected is in the description below. Thanks again, and I hope to catch you next time.